Now to the latest on Today Show host Matt Lauer's firing. He's speaking out today through a written statement, acknowledging his shame and embarrassment, saying, quote, there are no words to express my sorrow and regret for the pain I have caused others by my words and actions. Repairing the damage will take a lot of time and soul searching. From Lauer back to Harvey Weinstein and many others in between, corporate America is undergoing seismic changes. As CBS 2 Sandra Torres reports, human resources departments are at the epicenter. We're seeing so many allegations come out that it is on the top of heads of HR's minds everywhere across the country. A shared sentiment right now among human resource professionals. You have some very high profile cases. Um, not every employer in the Chicago community is going to have that, but um, you know, no lesson is too small. Multiple high profile cases against men like Kevin Spacey, Charlie Rose, and now Matt Lauer. All for allegations ranging from inappropriate behavior to sexual misconduct. So many of these allegations are, have happened in the workplace. And, and so the people that are in charge of protecting the culture of the company, making a safe environment, are heads of HR. And, and, and they're thinking about it very seriously. So seriously that a Challenger Gray and Christmas Inc. survey among 150 employers shows 11% of companies won't hold a holiday party this year. That's compared to 4% last year. It means that they're concerned about creating a safe environment for their employees. They're concerned that holiday parties are going to be a place where inappropriate behavior happens. A learning opportunity for those in leadership roles to help regain trust. And everybody's reviewing their policies right now. The best thing we can do is learn from this and move forward as a, as a culture um, and hopefully create better workplaces. Liz also tells me some companies offer anonymous tip lines so employees can feel safe if they have to share specific incidents. And she also suggests that this may be something that organizations can implement to regain the trust of their employees. Robin Erica. Okay, Sandra, thank you.